Hey guys, Ernie here and welcome to the Paleo Hike Grim MD channel. Today I'm out for a hike at one of our wildlife management areas here in Louisiana. We have tons of these great areas we can access. We're not far from a shooting range. You might hear a lot of pop popping back there. But I wanted to take a little hike today to explore this area because they recently opened it up to uh, foot traffic, so I'm checking it out. I also want to show you all this. This is my ultimate compact coffee kit for the trail. We're going to make the best coffee you can make out on the trail today here on Paleo Hiker MD. Thanks for watching. Guys, before we get to rolling and uh, checking out the coffee kit, let's, uh, let's do a little exploring around here and see what we can find. And uh, then we'll show you the coffee kit. This is a new area. You can see behind me, big long road here. And uh, we're gonna head back this way and uh, check out what it is. I came from the entrance back there. All right, and we're gonna just zoom around, head back this way down the road. It's supposed to go around this uh, clearing area over here, go all the way around. And somewhere back there, it turns into a do not or a no, no motorized vehicles and stuff. So it should just be foot traffic at that point. Pretty excited about it. You can hear the people in the background having a good time at the gun range. So uh, stick with us. We're going to take a look around, check this place out, kind of scout it, see if we can use it for videos down the road. Then we're going to take a look at the coffee kit and make some coffee. Well, guys, this is a um, pretty awesome little place. I got through all the, the uh, pine trees and came around the back side. There's like a big clearing where they've done, you know, kind of cleared off the woods. And just an awesome area back here. Kind of gets a little lower and get into some hardwoods and some really nice places up through here, including that little swamp back there that we found, which is vintage Louisiana. Um, just really nice area here to maybe do some bushcraft videos. Um, you have to look in the regulations to see what I'm able to do here, but really nice area. Uh, lots of down hardwoods can make fires. I'm going to look into it and see, but definitely excited I came out here because a lot of great places. Maybe we can shoot some videos. Tell you what guys, it is, it is nice out here today. Uh, I want to show you guys what I got in my kit. It's pretty straightforward, but i um, pretty excited about it. I have a new uh, stove and cook kit in here that I recently got from the Pathfinder School. And I also got a, a new way to make coffee, which is a GSI uh, drip system. I'll put it down below. It's just an ultralight coffee drip uh, filter, which is pretty cool. So let me zoom y'all in. We'll take a look what's inside my kit. All right, so pretty straightforward kit. This is this is just a kit that I got off of eBay, probably just one of these uh, H2O type Molly kits. I've got a Mora on the side here to strike my ferro rod. I've got my ferro rod here attached, just looped around here so it won't fall off. And also have a spoon here attached. Okay, inside of my little area here, I've got my obligatory heavy cream. And I've got a little pack of coffee here, which is kind of cool. I got this at what's a store called World Market. Sometimes you can find really good stuff there for backpacking, like little vials of olive oil and stuff like that. And then in here, I've got a new stove for me, which fits pretty tightly in here, I'm not gonna lie. But it is the Pathfinder School stainless steel alcohol stove with stand, okay? Inside here, I've got this nifty little collapsible coffee cup. We'll take a look at that. This is the little GSI 
uh, coffee filter I told y'all about, and some water. And lastly is this, which is the Pathfinder School um, stainless steel mug. Very nice, it fits very well with this system. So let's uh, get some water boiling. Hard to see sometimes, but it is there and ready to roll. Trying to find a nice level spot. I'll show you all this. This is just, I mean, I think I spent like $5 on this. And uh, top comes off like that, or the bottom. It's got a kind of protector for the hot. Pull the top off and then you just push this through all right one thing i have learned by the way if you want to put it back if you try to push it back in like this it does not work very well but if you just get it on the ground and just push it it'll go in you might get a couple of pine needles but it'll go in and lock like that but anyway pretty straightforward little cup put on this to uh, stop you from getting burned and now one of the key things is going to be making sure that this is really stable because we're going to be pouring water in that actually made a little hole there so that works pretty good this is the gsi outdoors coffee filter now you don't need an actual filter for this some people use it but you don't need it and all you do is you attach these little feet to the sides okay and right there if you put the coffee in here which we will do and then you just pour the water over the top nice and slowly you're going to make fresh drip coffee which is going to be really good this is the coffee i have again it's from the world market it's texas turtle ground coffee this should be about enough for one nice cup i have no gloves so let's add another use to the seemingly endless uh, uses for the um, signal panel from the Hidden Woodsman. Put that out. You want to add just a little bit and kind of let the coffee I actually added too much. You want to add a little bit, let the coffee kind of bloom for about 30 seconds. Now we'll just pour this through until you get as much coffee as you want. As you can see, this uh, mesh is super fine. It does not let any of the coffee through. That's probably going to be just about enough for me. Now you'd want to just let this sit for like a minute and let it completely finish dripping. Coffee grounds, of course, are completely biodegradable. You can just throw them away and drink yourself a cup of coffee. Finish this up right. Put my top on and now I can enjoy a nice warm cup of coffee here in the woods. One quick tip for you guys, if you grab it on the edge like this, get the remaining water and you can just kind of wash off the coffee. Just like that. I don't want to get this side good. And you really can get basically all the coffee off without much of an issue. I don't know if y'all noticed, but my coffee was sitting on the side there. Did not spill one drop. I kind of looked over there and said, oh, my coffee. You know, fresh drip coffee is so good. There is nothing better than fresh drip coffee. I was at a coffee shop yesterday and like a regular coffee was like $2.50, but to do fresh pour over coffee was like $5. So obviously this is the in thing. So I suggest you get one of these. What this is, is the GSI Outdoors Ultralight Java Drip. 
it weighs 0.4 ounces. And if you think about it, all you got to do is bring coffee with you. One way or the other, you're going to either bring coffee or you're going to bring an um, uh, instant coffee, which what I usually do is an instant coffee like a Starbucks Via, which is very good. Don't get me wrong, but it's fun to go through this process. You certainly don't have to use this. I just happened to pick it up because I thought well, it would be kind of a cool to put in a video like a collapsible coffee mug. Really in the, in the idea of putting together this kind of ultimate coffee kit. This kit is great because it's super lightweight. It contains everything you need. You have a stove and you can use any um, stove you want. You don't have to use the Pathfinder stainless steel uh, alcohol stove. You can use any alcohol stove you want. You can use any stove you want. Um, I just wanted it to be as compact as I could get it. I really wanted to put together a kit that I could carry in just a small bag like this uh, H2O Molly bag that I got on eBay. You can get these things for like $10. You can buy, you know, quote unquote name brand ones. This is just one that I got on eBay and it works really, really well. I do like the flexibility of this particular stove having, you know, the kind of integrated, it fits around the stove. It's not ultralight, you know, it's stainless steel, but it's very hardy and it does work well. My problem with it is it doesn't seem to create the flames that I want. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but I did do a full priming the way they suggest of multiple YouTube videos, including um, self-reliance outfitters themselves recommend filling it all the way up letting it spill over the sides lighting it letting it burn for 10 minutes i did all that and it does work but i don't know maybe i'm wrong we'll find out soon if y'all haven't noticed i love putting together these little kits and that's one of the things i'm going to continue to do this year coffee kits food kits um you know maybe a photography kit something like that something all these things that you can put together in nice little compact uh, organized fashion that really fits my personality and it's neat to collect the stuff to put in them Needless to say, the star of this show is that GSI Java Drip, 0.4 ounces. It costs $9.99 on Amazon. You can put any coffee through it. You can stick it on pretty much any um, mug, whatever it might be. I put it on basically every mug that I have, and it worked just fine. So um, all you got to do is stick it on there and take your time. I did. I do want to mention that you should, uh, I watched several videos, you should pour just a quarter of a cup of water over the coffee grinds just to let them soak in and then wait about 30 seconds and push it through. That's for the coffee connoisseurs who really know the difference in the taste and stuff. I'm not the biggest coffee connoisseur. This tastes pretty darn good to me. So just for you to know, that's the way you're supposed to do it. So anyway, guys, as always, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope that y'all enjoyed this kind of ultimate coffee kit. It's nothing fancy. It's just my kit for going out in the woods. And uh, when I know I want to drink some coffee, it's not a problem to bring instant, but man, it's nice every once in a while to bring one of these. And with this GSI, a uh, super lightweight Java drip, it makes it possible with basically any kit you have. Appreciate all the support. Appreciate all the uh, comments I've been getting lately. Um, it's really a lot of fun, to be honest with you, to, to do this YouTube stuff. It's just fun for me. Um, I got recognized by one of my subscribers uh, yesterday, and I'll, I'll, I'll give him a formal shout out in a video coming down the road because we were talking about uh, a certain project that I'm going to be doing, and he's doing some of the similar stuff. So I'll give him a shout out down the road. It was kind of cool to get recognized. My family thought it was pretty funny. Uh, they think the whole YouTube thing is laughable. That's my role in the family. I get laughed at. But I'm good with that. You know, I'm good with that. No problem. Anyway, so that was kind of neat. Like I said, appreciate all the support. Um, really enjoy making these videos. It is so nice out here. I'm so blessed to live in an area where I have so much uh, land to my uh, at my disposal. It's mainly coniferous forest. You know, it's all pines. Um, I have there are sections of hardwoods and stuff like that, but mainly pines. And it's a little monotonous. But I'll tell you what. It's beautiful out here. I'm gonna shut off the camera and I'm just gonna lay back and sit here for about 20, 30 minutes. Once you shut up and you let everything happen, all the wildlife kind of comes in and, and moves in around you and it's great. This is a beautiful area. They've opened up this road, uh, which, which goes, I think about two or three miles down this way. And I came about halfway through it, really scouting for a place to bring our dogs to, to just kind of run around. We like to let them run and, and do their own thing. So this is gonna work perfect for them. Anyway, I've rambled enough. I hope you guys enjoyed the coffee video. I do a lot of these, and this was kind of, like I said, my ultimate coffee kit. Stay tuned for more videos here on Paleo Hiker MD.